Oh, thank you for the player accommodation, whoever gave that to me. But, we are now in part C. We're done with the dungeon, and presumably we'd save the self elder. I can help. Hmm, what's going on? Are you looking for La Habrea? Oh, what's that? Bunk. Um. Hi! You're old. Finally, fresh air. Maybe not so fresh, but better than before. Ah, sinister one is gone. This one can leave this awful place. Hmm? Did Walking One vanquish the many legged one? This one is grateful to Walking One. This one is called Frixio, eldest of these ones at Little Saws. I guess I really should be giving it like an old person voice. You know, I swear I didn't know until just before entering here that this was a guy. Oop. I don't get the voice, the old man voice yet. Instead, I get to see, what, presumably, what happened. Because, echo, echo, echo. Hmm. Garlemald. That looks like a little solace. Alpha Squad reporting, sir. Nothing of note in Lark's call, sir. Understood. Return to Area 12. Damn it all, where's that accursed icon hiding? Icon? Oh, what's this? Ooh. It's an arrow. No sign of our wizened friend? I'm afraid not, my lord. Shall I order that the search perimeter be expended? Absolutely not. We risk alerting the Gridanians to our presence. His Excellency bid us avoid an unnecessary confrontation. Though, though I am to admit it, I have found the evidence to suggest that Ramu will be gracing the moral realm in this near future. I ask you, what good is a god who does not grant one's wishes? Were I yourself, I should strongly consider myself finding another idol. Which reminds me, what is the self we captured? A handful of them seem to be in reasonably good health when last I looked. Really? Uh, uh, apologies, my lord. I fear we may have been overzealous in our efforts to compel them to summon their icon. Really, Centurion? Were you not aware the vegetables bruise easily? It is well that I did not entrust you with the important task of making my dinner. Well, mayhap it was the kindness. Better truth dead in truth than dead to one's own god, I suppose, if you believe in such things. Dawn is upon us. Make ready to withdraw. Sir, yes, sir. Hmm, <laughs> useless. We are so close to completion, I can fair taste it. But at this rate, no, I must be patient. Our effort will bear fruit in due time. What was it you always said? Ah, yes. Though it means bringing down the very heavens, who shall challenge the limits of possibility if not we? In that alone, you were right, Garland. But your star is long fallen, while mine doth begin to rise. And it shall burn so bright, so bright that Lord Van Balesar's ultimate weapon will seem a mere candle beside it. Ha 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 work on my evil laugh. Those walking ones did for Noxia. This one is certain of it. This one fears that other Taken Ones also suffered the same fate. Oh. This one is convinced. Walking Ones have black hearts. Seek only to harm the these ones. Walking Ones are not to be trusted. Now, now, Noraxia. Do not pass judgment too hastily. Not all Walking Ones are alike. Though there are evil among ones among the Walking Ones, there are good ones also.
Hmm? Does walking wanna feel unwell? This one would know. What brings walking one to this place? Well, I'm looking for you for one. Came to this one's rescue at Noraxia's bidding, and this one owes walking one a debt of gratitude. Hmm? Walking one has questions about Lord Ramu, and this one shall, will provide answers. Back in my day. But first, let these ones quit this lightless place. This one will return to Little Solace. When Walking One is ready, please come and see this one. These ones may speak properly then. You'll speak properly? You mean you'll have to say you and I and all that? No, of course not. What was I thinking? And it is so. Let this one accompany Walking One outside. Nah, you know, you know the exit was. The exit was at the dead end back there. How am I supposed to get back up there? But you heard her. We need to go... Actually, I guess we need to go to Buskaron. Um, before I did the dungeon, and you'll see this in another episode I'm uploading today, I got mount privileges. So let's ride our lovely behemoth. Because we can. And it can't jump very well. Then again, neither can I. Oh, people are actually participating in this. Let me do that. Because, well, if there's one thing I need, it's, um, seals. Sensor of the Bottomless Cup. Also, I need revenge. Revenge on this asshole. Use a prob. Prob. Um, I guess revenge is probably easier with. Yeah, it feels better with one person. Mercy, you're not even getting hit, you asshole. How oh, shut it, you abused adventure. How abused can you be? Do you have a pro pro problem with that? Well, he's almost dead, so... Besides, fate music kind of messes with fancy cutscene music. The Sylphs are known to avoid the South Trout. What could have compelled the Sylph Ogre to come here? Buskron is a good friend of ours, and there's no place like his for the latest gossip in the South Trout. Ah, you're back. Tell me the Sylph Elder as well. Thank the gods for that. I don't really know what to make of the rest of your tale, but I'm full glad Frixir didn't come to any harm. Ah, uh, there I go, tempting fate. Run over to Little Solace and secure us peace with itself before aught else falls us, eh? Rest assured, I'll send word to our friends of Charlayan and the Twin Adders both. You've done Gridania a great service this day, lass, and earned yourself a place of honor here at the Dr it's in doing so. Be sure and come by whenever you feel like for a drop of key current firewater. You mean after a year? Alright. You want something delivered to the Sylphs. Say, friend, there's, there's something I like to ask you to see delivered to the Sylphs of Little Solace. This is Emia Rose Oil. It's a gift to celebrate the safe return of our tribe's elder, and a token of Gridania's desire to unite. But what is not what it once was, the clan may change the elementals, weaken them. Till their strength is returned, we must lend them ours to help keep the woods safe. But ours alone will not be enough. We must have the strength of the Sylphs as well. Only by working together and fighting together will we survive together. And the Twelve was with us. The gift I ask you bears a symbol of the hope that both Gridania and Sylph alike will live to see the light beyond the darkness. And another quest over here. Alfred would be most grateful if you could hunt down some Garlean interlopers in his stead. You're back, lass, and something tells me you not come for a flag and a Buskron's ale. Oh, that's Buskron's voice. All the better that I owe 
or heard some Garland stragglers were seen in 12 foot, and you know they're not like to be any good. Me? Well, I have nothing more than to gut those Imperial horses myself. But I fear I have big other duties to attend this day. We're counting on you, lass. Okay. I believe that's probably the last quest he spouts out, but I've been known to be wrong. Oh, how many times I said that in the last hour. But let's do this. We'll go back to the little solace. See what see what they want us to do and well, I'll figure out what I'm doing from there. But today has been a long episode. Waiting You sent a hostile presence. Hello, third cohort signifier. And looks like there's one more. Are you dead yet? Are you dead yet? Oh, I guess it's... Yeah, I'm facing the wrong way. Don't ask me why I decided to stun them after I've moved out of the way. That's how I work. I guess I was facing the right way. Is it a troll under the bridge? Is it? Can it? No, well, here's another one. Yeah, at this point you can definitely see I'm a bit over leveled now. But I believe that will um kind of um what's the word I'm looking for? Level out at some point. And I think only once we've been stopped because of level for the main storyline. Um I think probably in the forties we'll maybe late thirties, early forties we'll start seeing a lot of that again. So all those guardian dogs is lifting sure as I saw to me Pino or me duties, did ye? On behalf of old man Buscar and me compatriots here at the brothers, you have irk, my gratitude and then some. What with ye and myself seeing the matters us, I tell you, no flag in the meat or guardian troublemaker on or around these parameters eek, safe. And back to Little Solace, which is at the Hawthorne Hut. Near the Hawthorne Hut be much more convenient if it was at the Hawthorne Hut, but that is not how it works. Okay, get on our lovely new mount. Oh, we got the behemoth twice in a row. Go me. Not like I don't have like ten others. Why was I trying to avoid those? I'm over level. Or am I? I guess so. Hello, little solace. Oh, another quest for the main story. Hello, Nolexia. A gift from Walking One Buscron? A gift for these ones? Yes. Such a lovely scent. This one has never smelled anything like this before. Walking one bus and adventuring one are very kind. Oh, this one is deeply grateful. Many walking ones are scary. Many walking ones utter many lies and much deception. This one is move. Let all these ones be friends forever. BFF? Now you have a mini quest. The blood price? Silk and silk scarf. Something we don't need. Luxia wishes to show you her immense gratitude. That's what they're calling it nowadays. This one wishes to thank the adventuring one. Adventuring one save the elder one. This one must ask a favor first. Will adventuring one bring three bottles of fresh blood? It's a morbid favor this one knows. Must have fresh blood from vile ones known as jiggas. Here adventuring one, take blood vials. Use on almost dead vile one to take fresh blood. Okay. That's kind of creepy. Believe in yourself.
This one has been expecting walking one. This one fetches elder one. I'll be there in a second, dear. This one is pleased to see walking one again. Welcome to the home of these ones. Oh, where have you guys been? Oh yeah, slacking. Ah, there you are, Vilair. We have just been hearing tell of your deeds of daring do. Well done. Ah, uh, the walking ones who ate at Noraxia. This one is grateful. A pleasure to have been of service. Er, a pleasure to have been of service. If you don't mind my asking, how did your misadventure come about? This one does not mind. The misadventures, as walking one calls them, of this one began when Imperial Ones entered the wood. If we are in trouble, these ones decided to watch Imperial Ones closely. Uh, these ones watched too closely, and Imperial Ones noticed and tried to catch these ones. Having nowhere else to hide, this one fled into Todorak. With it, this one had not. And Todorak, a sinister one, robed in black, tried to feed this one to a many-legged one. A sinister one, robed in black? Why do I have a feeling I should be more worried about that than I am? Elder Frixio, we have come to you as emissaries of the nation of Gridania. This missive bears the words of the Elder Seeds here. And finally, we can deliver the letter. As one sees, so welcome one to Gridania, fearful Lord Ramu. Plainly put, yes. Your people summoned the Lord of Levin but once. Yet that single occurrence occasioned great alarm. But it's not as if the Gridanians dislike you or anything. Actually, it's just the opposite. They think of you as friends, and they don't want anything to get in the way of that. That's why the Elder Seeds here wrote to you. Mm hmm. This one well knows and respects Horned One, Connie Senna. Be assured, like Welcome One's a Gridania, this, these ones have no sense, no desire for conflict. And she's also kind of hot. I can't get it up, though. These ones resort to summon Lord Rama to prick the wood from Imperial ones. This one counseled against doing so, but was not heeded. Against this one's wishes, Lord Rama was summoned, and all those ones who took part became touched ones. Old man touches self. Oh, hello. You look kind of cool. You need to shave, though. These ones once so desperately turned touched ones back to normal, but did not know how. And still do not know. Touch ones, meanwhile, want to turn these ones into touch ones, and did know how, since this one fled the little solace of all these ones who did not wish to be bound to Lord Rama. But walking ones in Gridania need not fear touch ones or Lord Ramu. Unlike other primal ones, Lord Ramu is not so, not callous and cruel. So long as walking ones do not trespass on these ones' ancestral homeland, where touch ones reside, walking one will not suffer thunderous judgment. <clears throat> but this one has spoken enough of the touch ones, this one would speak instead of these ones. As this one said, these ones desire peace with walking ones of Gridania, and so these ones ask for a chance to set things right. By way of an addendum, mortals who are tempted come to take on the qualities embodied by the primal in question. In the case of the Sylph, Rama's influence has made them fiercely protective of their homeland. Kind of like the, I guess, Ifrit, Ifrit just wanted prayer and, well, I guess they did kind of get violent. That explains why they're so hostile toward trespassers, but what about the abductions? A fine question, Nita. The abductions are, and I... I believe, an expression of this tempered self-desire for reconciliation, another quality traditionally associated with Ramu. In the crudest manner imaginable, they seek to bring their fellows back into the fold, a timely manner that the challenges posed by each primal are unique. Hello, Frixio. We would 
We thank you for making your will known to us. The people of Gridania will rest easier in the knowledge that they and the Sylphs are united in their desire for peace. The nations cooperate. This one has run down the feelings of these ones. Please see that these feelings are conveyed to Horned One, Connie Santa. And with that, I believe we can lay the matter of our mood to rest. For now. The self elder is very reasonable, I must say. You could learn a lot from him. Hmm? Was that a jibe? If so, I feel only fair to observe that one of us wouldn't reason recognize reason if it punched her on the nose. Did I say fair? I meant reasonable. Anyway, we're going to head back to the Waking Sands and tell Minfilia all about it. Fear not. We will be sure to mention the instrumental part you played in all of this. And while we see that, we appreciate if you would deliver Frixia's missive to the Adder's Nest. Oh, wrong voice. Elder Frixia, we humbly thank you for your time. It has been an honor. It is the honor is this one's. Together, let the walking ones go down you and these ones find a way to live in peace. Bye. Please wait, walking one veal here. This one has yet to give walking one a token of this one's appreciation. Oh, it's another crystal. When these ones summon Lord Ramu, these ones were gifted this crystal. This one would no now bestow the crystal upon walking one as a symbol of these ones trust. Really? Do we get to talk to Heidelin again? I'm guessing yes. That has us at what? Three, four crystals now? Three. We have Ifrit, uh, I'm guessing Leviathan, and um, now we have Ramuz. And a very white screen. That hurt my eyes. This one was not mistaken about walking one. Walking one is destined to walk a fate far crueler than this one can imagine. A brilliant light from within walking one enveloped the crystal. This one saw. Mark this one well. My crystal will one day be of use to walking one. Mocking one must keep that crystal safe at all times. Before Walking One returns to Gridania, this one would ask Walking One to watch Touch Ones. So long as Touch Ones are not troubled, Touch Ones will not make trouble. If Walking One witnesses Touch Ones making no trouble, mayhap Walking One can testify to Walking One through Gridania that these ones mean no harm. These ones homeland is fraught with danger. This one marks down safe places to look out for touched ones. So I guess we're going to do a little lookout. These ones do not let me go so easily. Okay, where do you want me to look at? Really? I have to go all the way over? Oh dear. I just like to note that the Sylphlands is a level 42 plus area. Well, Lark's Call is anyways. Can't really- level 40 Stand look out east of Little Salas. Look out! What are we going to see? Probably touched ones. Ah, I remember the purple ones. Now I'm doing it again. There are tempered ones in distance. You do not sense that they pose a danger if left alone. I think they are. Deliver Frixia's message to Vorsa. Hello. Hello.
and as soon as we turn this in, I believe we are done with the Ramu part for now. We will revisit it later. Much later. We may even fight him. May. No promises. But... So let's just talk to him. He'll probably send us back to... Um... The Waking Sands. Ah, if it isn't Fielder, how went the meeting with the Sylph? Well, here, have a letter. A missive from the Sylph Elder himself, if I may. So the Sylphs have no desire for conflict, nor do they intend to summon Ramu. And so long as we leave the Tempered Ones be, we need not fear any aggression on their part. The Elder Caesar will be overjoyed to hear that the Sylphs have welcomed our overtures. And in the knowledge that they bear us no ill will, we may channel our resources toward tackling the more conspicuous threats to our security. You have done this nation a great service, my friend. On behalf of all Gridanians, I give you my thanks. Back from the woods. He has more to say, because of course he does. The Sophic folk have long been friends to Gridania. The mere thought of being at war with them pained the Elder Caesar to no end. But owing to your efforts, you will be able to rest easier at being the benevolent soul that she is. My lady will surely try to find a way to reverse the tempering process. Once again, I thank you. Had the science of the Seventh Dawn not offered to mediate between our people, suspicion and doubt may have led us into needless conflict. Pray pass on my regard to Minfilia. Who is calling us? At just the right time. Hello. Hello, Vimir. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? His I am Infilia. Listen! Ethan and Papalimo returned some little while ago, and they wasted no time in regaling me with the tale of your exploits. Thanks in large part to you, the name of one primal may be struck from our list of enemies, and the Gridanians may return their attention to more pressing matters. Well done! Yet the end of one tale is but the start of another. Pray return to the Waking Sands at your earliest convenience. I would apprise you of the present situation in person. Thanks. Anyways, I believe this will, since this is the end of the Ramu arc, for now, I will end the episode and we'll start back with, um, Tataru. So, this has been Vealer. Hope you enjoyed and have fun. <laughs>